we need to wake up. We're going to, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to get punished, yeah, because we've turned our back on our own creator. We've turned our back on our own people. We've turned our back on our own selves. We've turned our back on nature. We've turned our back on our, our, our own countries. You know, half of us think we're West Indian. The other half think we're African-American. The other half think we're black British. And then the third half think they're African. Yeah, at the end of the day, there would be no African-American, there'd be no black British, and there would be no Caribbean if it wasn't for the continent of Africa. Yeah? The Caribbean is only there as a slave. And as long as you cleave to your Caribbean heritage, you are cleaving to your slave heritage, because that's what got you there. The African-American, as long as you cleave to your African-American heritage, you're still cleaving to your slave heritage because that's how you got there. And the uh, black British, well, we're just following everybody else really and truly, right? And as long as we keep doing that, we'll always be fools. We are Africans first and foremost, wherever we are. And at the moment, that is just a word. We can identify with a continent that we came away from. An elder said to me ages ago, you know, because I was, worried about not having the language and he said to me it takes more than the language to be an African and that is a true thing it takes more than saying you're an African to be an African it takes more than speaking the language or one of the languages over there to be an African to be African is a total mindset a mind and a heart set yeah because to be an African first and foremost you have to come from the spirit first to come from the spirit first you have to come from the heart first